In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use Excel to do some basic math calculations. Now, what good is all this data if we can't take sums and averages and other information from this data? But before I can show you how to do all that, we have to learn how to crawl before we can walk. So let's take a step back for a moment and see how we can use Excel to do some basic math. Let's come over here and click on Sheet 2. I like using these different sheets as scratch space so we can do some work on the side without affecting our main spreadsheet. Let's see how we can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and exponentiation using Excel. First, let's see how we add two numbers together. In cell A1, let's just type in 50 and press Enter. And then in cell A2, let's type in 25 and press Enter. Now, in cell A3, I want to add together those other two numbers. Now, sure, in my head, I can look at it and do 75. But I want Excel to do that work for me. So how do I get Excel to calculate A1 plus A2? Essentially, a calculation in Excel is basically like a math problem backwards. Instead of saying A1 plus A2 equals something, you just write it backwards. For example, we're sitting here in cell A3. Here's how you write it. A3 equals, you start off with an equal sign. Very, very important. Every calculation you do has to start off with an equal sign. I'd say that at least half the time that my students don't get something right in Excel, it's because they forgot to start off with an equal sign. So very, very, very important. In fact, it's so important there, I'll throw a big message up in your face. Don't forget the equal sign. All right, so I've got equals, and then the rest of our formula is going to be A1 plus A2. And notice how Excel fills those little colored boxes around your cells just to highlight what you're typing in. Equals A1 plus A2, and then I'll press Enter, and there we go. Excel figured out that A1 plus A2 equals, in this case, 75. Now, one of the nice things about using Excel to do these calculations for us is if our data changes, the calculations automatically update for us. So if I were to change cell A1, let's say this is no longer 50, let's say this is 48, and I press Enter, look at that. Cell A3 changed because cell A3 has a calculation in it. Let's click on A3. And notice now up here in the formula bar, you can see there's the calculation. There's the formula equals A1 plus A2. So if either A1 or A2 change, the result in A3 changes automatically. And again, this is why this formula bar is handy, because I can come up here and make edits right up here. OK, let's try another one. That was addition. That's pretty straightforward. Let's do some subtraction. Equals A3 minus 25. How about that one? You don't always have to do cell values. You can actually throw real numbers in there. This should give me A3, whatever A3's value is, in this case 73, minus 25. And if I press Enter, there we go. How about some multiplication? Equals A2 times the asterisk is multiplication. It's on your keyboard over the 8 key, so you'd hold down Shift and press 8 to get the asterisk. A2 times, let's say, 4. And then press Enter. And I'm just picking cells at random here, folks. There's no rhyme or reason. We're just doing this again to demonstrate how some of these different math functions work. And there we go. A2 times 4 is 100. Let's do some division equals A5 divided by is the forward slash, the one that leans to the right, the forward slash, not the backslash, divided by, let's say, 5. And then I'll press Enter again. And there we go. That's division. Finally, exponentiation, that last one. People seldom use it, but that's raising a number to a power. 
So I can say equals a six caret. The thing's called a caret. It's over the six key, and then two. That'll give me a six to the second power. I'll press enter, and there we go. Twenty to the second power, or twenty squared, is four hundred. Now, nobody ever uses that, so let's go ahead and delete a couple values here. Let's highlight A5 through A7 with our mouse, and I'll hit Delete on the keyboard, and that will clear those cells. And then I'm going to come over here and scroll up on the scroll bar, so I'm back to the top. There we go. And there's cell A1. Now, what if I want to add all four of these cells here together? Let's come down here and click in cell A5, and let's add all those guys together. So here I go, equals A1. Notice how you don't have to have caps. You can use capital or lowercase a. It doesn't matter. A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4, and then equals. And there we go. So you can have as many of those as you want. And that's one way of doing a sum of a column of numbers. Just add them all up individually. Now, instead of summing them together, let's say I want to get the average of those four numbers. So let's come up here. I'm going to go up with the up arrow, and I'll press delete on my keyboard. That will delete that again. Now, to average some numbers together, what do you do? Well, you add them all up, and you divide by however many there are. So in this case, I have four numbers. So I should be able to add those four numbers together and then divide by four to get an average, right? Let's try it equals A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4, and then divided by 4. And that should give me my average, right? Let's press Enter. And wait a minute. That's not right. That's definitely not the average. What did I do wrong? Can anybody figure it out? Take a close look. Let's take a look at our formula. Let's double-click on this cell here. And there we go. A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 divided by 4. Hmm. What could I have done wrong? Take a trip back now to high school math and remember our order of operations. Remember, multiplication and division go before addition and subtraction. So what happened here was Excel divided A4 by 4 first, and then it added on these other three cells, resulting in that, which you can't really say is a wrong answer. That's the right answer. That's the answer for the formula that we told Excel to figure out for us. We need to adjust our formula. So how do we do that? Well, enter in our good old friend the parentheses. Let's edit this cell. Let's click right here in front of A1, and I'll put in an open parenthesis, parenthesis, excuse me, the singular, and right here after A4, but before the forward slash, we'll put in a closed parenthesis. So now Excel should add up those four cells and then divide by four. And let's see if it works. I'll press Enter, and that looks much, much better. So that's one way to do a basic average.